Hello, everyone. <laughs> this is as good as it gets. <laughs> it's rough today. Rough. Why are you in the dark? Oh. <laughs> because I need to... Turn, okay, turn that's on, better. Turn on my lights. <laughs> pop out my chat and you know be sure to turn your chat to live chat Whew. there we go there's that are we gonna sing today I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to sing for you guys I, I do not think I'm up for singing can we do this is P over here what <laughs> can we Whisper. do this is, Whisper. this is P over here M over there Patricia and together, we, we are, are PM Artist Studio. And we're both losing our voices. <coughs> or when I talk too loudly, then I go into a coughing fit. It's been fun stuff, guys. I'm hoping I did my sneezing earlier. I did turn up the mic in hopes that my whispery voice isn't so whispery. I have to read her lips mm -hmm. in order to watch, to know what she's saying. She's not doing so it may distract job. me from my serious work today. I'm Dad wearing her. Left. I'm wearing her scarf. She is. Did you notice what I? I have it on hostage until she returns some that she took from me. Is this not the most glorious thing one has ever seen? <laughs> Izzy told me I could wear it today. Yes. Fran, where's Violet? Is Violet here? Violet, you need to get here. I'm not going to read off the names. Is that okay? I still feel like that's kind of rude. It is kind of rude. I'm going to read the names. I need to turn to live chat. That would also be helpful. Wow. There's Violet. Violet's there? Mm -hmm. We're going to show the lovely things that Violet sent, but this is one of them for Izzy, and Izzy said I could wear it. I'm quite fond of it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I really am. Look at that. I even wore it to, this morning when to take her to school. I asked her if she wanted to wear it. She said, no, Mommy, you wear it. Well, it was 65 degrees. It's also, it's yes, a bit so like a little... muggy almost today. This is a little overdressed. <laughs> but that's okay. It's worth it. I do like it when my ears are warm. All right, I'm going to say good, 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 good days. <laughs> Hellos. I've also had cough medicine, which is <clears throat> never really good for my brain. So here we go. We've got Anne, Art Curious, that's Miriam, Heather, Belinda, Carrie, Christy, Colleen, Darcy, Dana, Fran, Griffin Shell, that's Rhonda, Jacqueline, Jamie Heron, Joe Lynn, Joni, Julie Torrens. Julie, thank you so much for doing that video. I shared it on our channel too. Carla, L.A. Beeler, that's Laura, Lisa, Martha, Maxine, Mitzi, Nightbot, she's the one that's going to give you the info prompted by our moderators. Maxine, I say Martha, Martha, Maxine. More people are popping in there. I'm missing some of y'all. I'm sorry. Oh, Christy Hartman's here. Good, good, good. She needs to be here. We're going to sew some things that she made. Penka, Reverend Sonia, Ricky Nordmeyer, Silver Granny, that's Lynn, Stitching Arc, Susan Anderson, Susan Dufresne, Susan Fent... Is it Fentosi? Fentazi. I was meant to ask you about that. Trish... Violet, Violet, and we're baking and crafting meat by Alicia. That's Alicia. All right, I know I missed some of y'all. I do apologize. I'll try to catch it on the flip side. <laughs> Announcements are, be sure to come back, comment, enter into that 5,000 subscriber giveaway because we're getting close. It's like Coming Don't, up on like just 200. Aren't they supposed to hashtag? I read something about <coughs> hashtags today. She's shaking her head at me. Don't mm. just ignore that. Pretend that like, like I never said anything. I mean, you guys can still do that, and I will enter you into the giveaway. But the main way you can do it is come back, leave your comment, your timestamp, that business. Um, postcards, you better have the have had those out to everybody. Today's the last day. Joni, what's happening for December? I feel like we're already in December. I'm going to have it's a big announcement on Thursday. Uh, the Creative Collab 
coming up for, thir for Thursday. For December, is dare to draw. Don't pick, don't, you don't have to be literal about it either. You know, you can draw in information. You can be drawn to something. You know, get crafty. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she says new swap will be announced <coughs> December 1st, but it's green <coughs> cards. See, you get information here first. If you show up to the live streams, you get the info first. I'm pretty done with greeting cards. She's a little greeting carded out. I, but I, you know what? We do have some. So you would be able to enter the swap. No problem. Okay. Well, don't give those away then. I, got, I don't know which one I want to keep. Okay. Now, is this the one where you wait wait to exchange? It's yeah, like Secret, to secret Santa? Yes. Joni is going to post information on how to do it. And then it'll be at the top of the, the and group. She assigns people. Yes. Okay. She's a good woman. She is. Is it going to be like three people again or just one? I think you can sign up for whomever, how many you want. If you want to do one, whatever. Okay. But you've got multiple cards. So. I just, I have about five left. I did get or festive six. with my straw too. I mean, look at how good my little outfit. I do have straw. some more that are in the works though. Of course she does. And she'll have more after today. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, all right, I'm going to read chat here. Hello to everybody, Susan, you saying hello, creative, cra awesome. Darcy's making Nightbot drop some links and things. Um, <laughs> oh, she's, she's, she's doing the, the closed captioning is brought to you by our very lovely and wonderful, much appreciated Darcy. She's closed captioning. Yes. I appreciate that because Hello, I can't I can't watch English shows unless I have captioning because I can't understand them. <laughs> she can them. barely understand me right now. Wow. Well. <laughs> oh, okay. So, look at all these. Oh my God. These were some of our other happy mail from. Um, you need to ha hand I me do, those and go top side, the, yeah, so I can spread them out. Yeah, let's do that. That's more. Let's better. do that. That's more better. <laughs> There's an echo in here. <laughs> Gooder. That's gooder. That's what it says. Is that gooder? We're back with the, the good cam on the top. Oh, this is just so just so <laughs> these little these little yo yo things. I know I said some and I love this little little stitchy thing here. I, does our sewing machine do that kind of nifty stuff? The one we have. I have no idea. We need to get one that does that. Yeah, well, we're not going to that. studio needs to buy us one. Uh-huh. P needs to clean off an area. God. Okay, it's a cute, lo cute little things. bag, nice and crinkly, saving that. But I just love this. I just love it so much. And these little jobbers, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I, sh I sh showed them to Izzy. Oh, she's like. And she, she liked those a lot. She loved them a lot. But these little guys right here, these little Nautiluses, are a good one. This is a good candidate. We're go I'm going to sew them on her little clippy things to put in her hair. I'm not gluing them on. I'm going to sew them on. But we've got these. See these two? The light pinks. And then these two. Mm -hmm. And then these two. Uh. Twitchy and eye. these two, look at oh, those. Are, and she has, she has some. Now some of those, I want at least one or two of those to go in my little snowflake journal. Okay, well here, here's a loner. And it's snowflakey looking. Yeah. Maybe that's why. I bet you that's why Violet sent me that one. But now here's a little pink shell. This one's really sweet too. There's only one of it. Okay, give me that one. But not really because see this one's just the opposite. But I really think you should probably take these. Okay. Then I'll keep the rest for Izzy. Make her a little. Oh, but here's another Nautilus. Now, she did say that we could also share these with other people. These <laughs> Instead would... of being the little hoarders that we are. <laughs> she didn't say that part. I'm just that. I added that in. Violet would never. <laughs> no. Well, I, I. Well, she might, but I don't know. I, I just. <laughs> 
it's really hard for me. I, I wished I wore clippies because I really do like these a lot. Well, you could, you could. I don't think that's where you need to put them. I think you could. You should put them on one of your hats. I should. That would be wonderful. You might. I'll keep these because these really aren't. I mean, yeah, they could because she does have some. Her, her newest little um, dress has that color of pink on it. I don't know. I'll have to see. But I promise to show you those when I, I get them. But I've been really... Um, I, I've been crocheting. <laughs> my crocheting doesn't look anything like mm -hmm. it. Now, see, these are the kind that my great-grandmother used to have. And what they would do is they would starch them. And then they would do and this. And by the way, yes, lots of people have said, um, I, I can't remember exactly who all said it. I apologize for that. That um, they but, uh, starch what, their doilies? Uh-huh. Some used to use Coke bottles to get the... Oh, I don't know how, how, how they got them. I mean, I don't know how they made them stand up like that. But it truly... And, and, and Violet made the hat, by the way. Yeah, I think I said that, but I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, paper clip top first, yes. Hello, Yuta. We're so glad you're here. Uh, hello, Devin. Oh, well, thank you very much, Violet. That was really, that. this was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful gift. It was. I can't believe how much you got into that tiny little box. I mean, it was a box about this size. All worried. And I really love, I wish you could feel the yarn that that hat <coughs> had us made oh, out of. It it's chenille and it's just like and this, velvet. Oh, that's so nice. And Izzy, and it's so funny because the same day I had ordered her this little um, jacket, a uh, vest. Vest of faux fur, pink, oh, with have, little pink rosettes on it. I have pictures. I'll post those, but I wanted to, I wanted to show it in the stream and then somebody remind me after the stream. I'll post the pictures of Izzy wearing the hat and the jacket. I mean, her outfit was perfect yesterday. It really was. It really was. Um, here. Yeah, be careful with the address stuff. You were the worst about that. Just turn it around the really cool side, and I won't turn it over. Okay, well, no, I think, because she's sending it in a box, so I was just making sure, though. Look at these. And I don't know about this, this one. It smells like kind of, a, I don't know, it smells really good. Well, because that's a bubble gum. <sighs> My sniffer's working. In one ear. <laughs> <sighs> okay, they kind of lump together, but you know, I'm not worried about that because I have a whole bunch of them that have lumped together. So I figure what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take care of it all at once. You know? But look at the variety hey, here. Me. Hello, Beast Domingo. Aren't they wonderful? Little bitty trinkets. Mm -hmm. And then, cool card. It says, be open to whatever comes next. I love that. Sometimes we're not, but look at this cool envelope. And I don't know Charmin it, has some really cool stamps. Did it come like this? No, she has stamps. She stamped. Oh. That is a very cool stamp. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, and I think it is. I think it is your leaf, Rhonda. The outline. Because Char oh. Charmin likes to do that. She She's real creative, I think. Can you ha hand me my, my trinket jar? Mm-hmm. Since it's so I'm going to add them to that right now before for they get... For whatever reason, lives over here now. Oh, well, I don't have any place to put it over here yeah. that I can reach without mm -hmm. upsetting the um, balance of, of the world. The world, mm -hmm. as I know it. Yeah. But look, it's filling up, y'all. I just have to kind of figure out. So I hate to start it without knowing I have enough. Yeah. Well, or you know, maybe I guess I could just add them as I go. Yeah, that might be kind of fun. Be like, we're gonna add to Archie today. <laughs> Got more trinkets. Oh, forgot the one it that smells good. It could be an ongoing good. thing. <laughs> that, that's more the PM style, anyway. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> increments. So, somebody asked me, and I felt so bad because it's like I'm not being mean, 
and I don't want to be like dismissive, but they asked me, well, when was this print made? <laughs> that is like the biggest trick question to me. Because I'm like, well, hmm. I mean, there's probably about 20 different streams that that particular print might have been in to then find, because you guys remember the circle books, right? Remember how some of them, some of them started as prints and then she even made more prints and then, you know, we'd go back to the other one. I mean, it's just, we are not chronological. Picasso wasn't chronological either. They just, art historians just put his stuff into groupings because it was easy for them to, yeah, that wasn't to do that. Doing. It wasn't, he, he did Rose period during, you know, Les Demoiselles d'Avignon. It was like the afternoon. <laughs> you know, it's just, people just try, try to put you in little boxes. boxes and How dare they? I have rounded edges. I don't fit. I know, that's right. <sighs> Work in sections, like give Archie trinket hair. Yeah. That'd be funny. But that's, you know, the... <laughs> One of the things, are we going on the top side yet? We've been top side. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Of course, because I just did trinkets. Yes. Okay. Well, let's talk talk about the scarf and its little, remember it started out, and I'm so excited about this because uh, Mariah's going to photograph it, you know, in its final state because mm -hmm. it, it's, it was just a wad, I think, the last time. Pardon me. Remember these little holes? Well, those little holes are there for a special reason. Because that's how you... Did you see that zoom? Wear it. That's some impressive zooming. The hole is what holds it together. The hole holds it together. Mm -hmm. And I do a lot of my scarves like that. But this one especially because this is... is it, she, she has claimed this as she hers. Did. I was kind of surprised. So I think it's, you know, I, I don't want it to be long because we don't want to, her to have a, a Vira Madigan moment and get her scarf wrapped around the tricycle wheels and strangle herself. Um, so it is short on purpose. <laughs> did you know? You bet you didn't know that little bit tidbit of history. Uh -huh. Yeah. She's driving along in her coupe and... Her scarf is flowing out behind it, wrapped around the axle, and strangled her. I don't know if the car then crashed, and it was, you know, a pretty final moment. Who is this? But, yeah. Who? You know. Who? Elvira. I think it was Elvira Madigan. I don't know. I might have just made that up. But it was somebody. Like, oom, papa, oom, papa. <laughs> <laughs> Elvira. <laughs> He's on fire, isn't it? There I go. I don't know. Oh, anyway, I want to talk about the holes for a minute because as I, I noticed this, um, this one's kind of doing a bit of stretching here. So what I'll do is go around that with some more. <laughs> what did I do with my? Oh, uh, Isadora Duncan. Isadora Duncan. Thank you. Not Elvira. That's somebody else. <laughs> That's Isadora Duncan, yeah. That. that was her final dem demise was her hmm. scarf wrapped around the axle. Yeah. Okay, well, I, what did I do with my crochet hook? Good call, Carrie. Ah. Yes, thank you. All right. These little, I, I don't ever, I, I know Violet knows what this size is for, but I, I just use this for pulling things through and tying knots. So I've got this little sticker outer there. The Oak Ridge Boys sang that Elvira song. Oh. I like the Oak Ridge Boys. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Angela. Does the sound seem louder? I mean, I know I'm talking softly, and I do apologize for that. Every time I start to get loud, it gets, you know, a coughing fit. <laughs> And what I do is I just keep pulling it back through until it's just a little fluff of something and then nobody knows. So, you know, that's what I would do. I'm having a little trouble with that today. <laughs> but anyway, you get the idea. I don't know if this is the proper way to do it, and I haven't discussed this with Prudence. I 
I don't know. Is there a... Is everybody seeing what I'm doing here? I think so, for the most part. Pretty much. If you want to hold that up to the camera, you can. I can't hold it up and do my well, thing. Not while you're doing it, but just show them the little spot so they know what you're working at. Oh, okay. See this little guy sticking out there? I'm just going to keep going until it looks like it's just kind of one of those little hoop to do things. See that one red string amongst the others? Yeah. And you just keep doing that until it just kind of... Oh, Violet says she uses a very large eye darning needle to bury yarn ends. Yeah, I have one of those too, but I have a... I, I, I like this method better because I don't have to thread the dead gum needle. I can just pull it through there and now see it's almost to the point where it's just you can't even see it anymore. Now periodically you have to go through and do that again because they will work themselves oh, out. Little, little maintenance. Little maintenance. Now I want to show you this because I just think this is so. If we ever started selling them, we could buy like a bunch of cheapy ones and send it with it, and you know for maintenance. For maintenance. Handle well, your strings. Mariah has a sweater and I'm I'm going to take it apart. That's number one. It's a fluffy sweater, and fluffy girls should not wear fluffy sweaters. She, she already knows which one I'm talking about. I've got it in a drawer in there. No, which fluffy? No, I don't know. What have you taken from me? The black and white one that has fluffy. Oh, yeah, that thing. No, yeah, that, that. And plus, it's hotter in Hades. I don't think it's cotton. Oh, I, I just about guarantee you wouldn't want to wear that, but you the know, one with the to put out fire. Yeah. Business? Yeah. yeah. It would make a much nicer scar. Definitely. Okay, so these little these little guys, I didn't have very much of this. So instead of using it as a crochet thing, I just went in and punched it through there and pulled it through and tied it in knots so that you got have a little fluffy, fluffy uppy bits. Fluffy uppy. Okay, here. Um, so, yes, P is doing freeform crochet. Big heart from Violet. Um, Evie does hers the same as you. She hates threading the needles. Silver Granny, she buries her ends as she goes, crocheting right over them. I tr I really try to do that, but I ha I forget. And then what I try to do also is I try to end up where I started, so I've got two pieces, so I can tie them together really, really good, and then weave them back in, and you have a double. Right. You know. I don't. I don't know. I mean, you know. I just absolutely love this 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 yarn the only thing is is you don't want to have it right next to your face because you keep thinking you've got something crawling on you yeah the tickly tickles business. you yes. so and i think i pretty much um okay now melissa wanna... in maine she can't stop laughing what i'm, I'm happy about that i mean it, it, it's good laughter right what is it <laughs> she's laughing we're oh. entertaining her. I We're entertaining. Oh, okay. Well, I wanted to show you my little, this is kind of a <clears> departure, <throat> but Prudence does it all the time. She does weaving within her, um, and I had that, I didn't have very much of that, so I used it there, and then I used it over here, where I went around this, um, I thought I used it in another place, but maybe not. Guess not. Okay, the other one. And I wanted to talk about that one because it's getting stretched out and I'm going to have to come in and fix it. All right, see this here? What's happening? How that's pulling apart there? I'll probably come back in and reinforce that well, because what, those Mary are very, be... very, pardon? Miriam, she says, I love to thread a needle. Gives me time to meditate. But sometimes I don't meditate. I'm not in a meditative mood. So I do it with a crochet, crochet needle with you. <laughs> We need somebody to come and thread Izzy's needles because she's driving us crazy. I told her she just needs to practice. She's like, I can't thread the needle. I'm like, guess guess how you learn? You practice. Yeah. And I just told her, I said, you know, I'm sick and tired of being your go-to to thread your needle. And plus, okay, so. She if, says, I can't see it. I'm like, out of all of us, guess what? You probably have the best eyesight. <laughs> yeah. And I, I just, you know, I another day so she did something else and i said well yeah. good on you yeah because i'm not i'm not doing that yeah anymore. i think she does she has the little needle threader thing and everything right in that one oh, or has she's probably lost it oh i don't i i didn't see that <sighs> yeah get her okay. a needle threader 
That's what you this, and, and Anne say. Well, you know, we probably should, but that's just an extra thing that I don't know that that would. Um... <laughs> you know, what we could do we could do it like the pens at the bank or whatever. <laughs> we could put a string on it and, and tape it off it, and you know, have it onto her. Oh her, yeah, her like the pen, so, so that it can't go anywhere. <laughs> Lose it, because my guess is she'd use it for other things, because she's kind of funny like that. Yeah, it would become part of an installation. That's what we call all her little things. All right, we, we need to move along here. Yeah, we do. So, the one other thing that we're going to do real quick, and then P's going to get back to, like, you know, gel printing and showing off the new stencils. Well, I got a whole bunch to pull off the plate before we can do that. Okay, well, we'll firework show and then that. All right, are you going to show the mats? Yes. Are we going to dosey do dough? Let's dosey do dough. Now, you better handle this chat. You can't, don't read off everybody's. It's just kind of... Don't look at me like that. Just so bossy. <laughs> Take my cup with me. <laughs> She's kind of needing to move around anyway. You're getting locked up. I'm going to pour a little water in my... Yeah, it was it, pretty the strong. the last part there was pretty... Woo! Woo! <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So, the final decisions on everything. And I'll save that one because I'm going to show you guys... Because Anne had requested to see exactly how this was done, which I, I mean, it's not any, you know, fancy. It isn't rocket science no, by any stretch of no, no. imagination. But you I think, forgot to show these little hooters. Oh, I did show them. They what? actually really go well they... with that outfit. She wants them. I told her they were mine. I don't know. Let us know, Violet. <laughs> but see, now they're all taped on. And I just use the washi tape. I know it's not archival or anything like that. Yeah, and there is a tape that you can, if you want to replace it, that is archival. We don't have it. Yeah. I've used paper tape okay. also. But I'll show you how I kind of line it up. I just eyeball it. But don't they just look so... And P signed everything. We did that this morning because we didn't get to it yesterday. I love this one. No, I really I love had a hard little, time. Little prints. I love those little prints. You need to do now, more. Now, what's the those. price range on those? I don't know yet. I've oh. never had that size. <gasps> oh. Okay. <clears throat> and then, well, let's show really quick before I do that. There. Good, my brain. All right, where's the one that I just? Oh, reading the chat. Hmm. Okay. There we go. Here's the party, Lord, Lord, Lord. Okay, let's, uh, all right, I have to start getting here. <laughs> Late to the party. Oh, I'm sorry, Diane. Okay. Gosh, I understand that. So, basically, I line it up, just holding it. See, it's not square on the back, so, you know, especially with the way she prints things, you know, you gotta, and I'm sure it just happens with everyone. But you want to make sure, I just eyeball it. I mean, if you want to get crazy and measure it and put little tick marks, you can do that crazy business, but I do not do that. I try to get one side taped down. Double check that I got it right and that it's Oh, kinda... thank you, Susan. Susan is helping I feel better soon. It's also good to have your tape already. Okay, so yeah. Darcy says, basically, I line it up just holding it so it's not square on the back, hey, but it looks nope. square on the front. You don't have to read Darcy's. Remember, she's closed captioning, so she's just repeating what I say. Thank you, Mariah. Okay, whenever I see that blue stuff, I'm not going to read that. For the CC. She put CC in front of it. Oh. <laughs> P, you're in the glamour light now. I know, and don't I look lovely? I have itchy red well see that <clears throat> I, I would love to give her that camera but that's actually the webcam on the computer yeah it's on the computer so i yeah, i apologize so there we go that's how the little ones are done Lou goes in seven days without medicine with medicine in a week <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh thank you damn <clears throat> All right, I'll show you guys the other ones that we ended up doing the big ones, but let's go ahead and just get, since this was on top. This, this is what get I it. 
call my Girl Scout print. Yes. And this one's going to be a little tricky because we want to... And this this kind of mushroom colored matte, I love it. It's because just, it really highlights the white of the paper. It's the light gray. Oh. Yeah, I know. It, it is mushroom color. I think they changed it because I want to say that before it was called mist. Oh. Now, here's the thing. With a lot of this paper, there is going to be kind of this, a little bit of warping. It is yeah, what it some is. Of it. I mean, if you want to press it, you can. It does kind of work itself out after a while. Well, if when you, you've got it in the frame and you've got it yes. pressed down, you've got a backing on it, then you're not going to have that warpy business yeah. going on. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And thank you. Somebody loves my signature. Oop. I pulled it Gr too tight. Griffin Shale. Who is That's Rhonda. She's the one Rhonda. That... Oh, thank you. Well, when you sign 900 of those after a while, you just get so you just... <laughs> have you done something with your hair? hair it has a minty cast on my hair. <laughs> no I, I really it does kind of have a little bit really a little bit I think no I use darker. my oil mm -hmm. my um it, it's lavender I don't know what else oil is in it but yeah I use use it because it um my hair gets really dry so yeah Okay, lurking, oh, Chris is lurking. Oh, and Devin's getting on the treadmill and says okay. that makes me feel better, Patricia. I don't know what makes, uh, anyway. So these were the final ones that we decided on. There were, did I put that on there backwards? Oh my god, serious? Wow, that's that, that's a kind of Patricia-like moment right there. What? What? <laughs> this is one reason I like using the washi tape. I had it stuck down backwards. Backwards? Yeah, uh, on the other side. The back side. Oh! You see what I'm doing? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, you had the wrong side. Oh my goodness. I had the light on this morning. I'm telling you, man, uh, just... <laughs> Been on the cough medicine. That that's my that's oh, my story, and I'm sticking to it. Finding a journal, okay. Okay. All right. Well, I'm glad you discovered that. Yeah, that would have been terribly. I mean, I probably would have seen it while I was photographing it. I haven't tried the violet shampoo. Hmm. But I don't really know why it it looks. It could just be the reflection of this scarf. Well, it's different lighting over there, too. Usually, yeah. she has that one that comes right down on her. Yeah, so it really brings out all of the white in my mm -hmm. hair. Is oh. Anne happy? Anne was trying to do the entire length of the print. Yeah, that's not a good thing to do. Number one, it just, all, all it does is it just reinforces your buckles. And if you can kind of tape where the buckles are yeah and the rest of it kind of lines out on it it's own. oh yeah you know do little pieces and it's a lot like stretching either like if you stretch canvas or if you have um reupholstered a chair stretched yeah. a batik opposite sides <clears throat> that's why i was kind of moving around in the different directions you go one side you know then there we go and i like that th you can see the edge of the print because I think in most of them, that is important to me. That you, it, it has veracity. It looks like a print. And it's not going to be absolutely perfect. I love this one. Well, most And of we them. thought that these two actually look really good together. Yes. And you should buy them you together. <laughs> Don't they look like friends? Friends. Friends. Oh, I wish Carrie Gibson was here. She always gets that reference. Friends. Oh, yeah. Okay, I love this one. I don't know which one it was, Mariah. I know. It's okay. I remember, this one is actual 
like collage down Franken stencils, which is kind of funny because that oh, one. Oh man, that looks really good in the on the on the screen here. Hey, I'm telling you, this camera is the bomb diggity. It is. The Brad's bomb. like, is there really that much difference? And I'm like, go back yeah. and watch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is amazing. Well, I don't think you really noticed it until we changed right. it out. Well, it, it, it's the whole, you know. Craft cheese versus, you know, gourmet cheese. It's yeah, no kidding. Now, remember, this is the one where I actually glued down the Yupo. Yeah, the Franken stencils. The Franken stencils have been glued down. So this is quite the print. I love this. Okay, she. Okay. Jamie says she loves them, and. All right. I am proud of. I am proud of these. I'm very proud of these. And these are ones that I pulled out, okay. especially yeah. out from. I don't know, hundreds maybe. Well, no, they know. They a lot of them were here for the, you know, going through. Yeah. <laughs> and it really does. You know, I think that's when you finally say, okay, this is really artwork because it's. Oh, she's kicking me out. I'm taking my tea with me. Okay. So. That is how you do that. Was that good? And was that? Uh, I hope that was the right amount of information and not, you know. It does. It, it, I don't know, you know, when you mat something, it just makes it. Okay. Now, we're going to pull some prints. Hello, Ginger. I have some things here that I really, I'm going to try very hard to not use new paper today. I'm going to try just to use paper I already used. <coughs> used. <coughs> Pardon. Yes. All right. I don't know what we've got going here. I'm just going to grab. Oh, well, this is really an old one. <coughs> hey. Oh, yay. The mineral oil. Thank you, Pat. You want? But look how good this looks with purple. I might even map this with purple if I were going. Because I'm big on colored mats when they are needed. That would be awesome. But it's kind of a modern feeling. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that that is something to take into consideration when you're choosing your mat. Is And, and the reason that we just <clears throat> matted these all on one color. Mystic Road, remind me, is it... I know it starts with an M, I think, but yes, um, what is the good paper? That's the Jack Richardson. It's the heavier stock paper. Yeah, you can see this is... If you click in the um, description area, when you hit like show me or there's like the gray box, the video description. If you click that, open it up, I typically have the top five papers that we use. Jack Richardson's going to be one of them that's listed there. Yeah. I really, uh, and uh, trust me, uh, we have a video that shows all the different kind of papers that we use that I really, I, I'm i telling you, I've tried many kinds of paper. I think that, um, you know, and if you go over to our website and you go through the blogs, there's not a ton of them. It shouldn't be, like, overwhelming. One of those videos, we do some comparisons. And in, in the blogs, you'll have the links. It's a and, lot easier than, or, or you can search the channel. I mean, that's always an option. And... But you know, you always, always think that the more expensive paper is better. I did not find that to be true at all. I, I found some of the papers that were specifically intended for printmaking to be not to my liking. Um, yeah. they, they just, they, they did not pull well or, I don't know, some, <laughs> they were too textured or something. Eva Macy, she says, no colored mat is what I was told in art school. I know, I but know. we were mixed media artists, and we're always breaking rules and doing our own thing. That's right. Living it, living it up, you know, on yeah. the wild side. We're on rebels. the edge. Look at Eva. this. Do you remember this? But typically, I agree with you. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 you know, sometimes um, if I picked a very neutral mat, I would try to pick a cool white you know, a cool gray to go with this rather than a straight because you leave that little bit of white all the way around there and you can get away with that or that that darker gray. 
You always pick a color that is in the print. Yeah. I think this is marvelous. Remember, this was left over from last week. And I I did a wonderful I, ombre job It kind of looks like it got charred up there at the one side. <laughs> like, and it's very dimensional. Yeah, this was some stuff left on the plate. And I kind of tried, I came in with Zia, see that? Yeah. Aye, Zia's a good one. Zia's a good one. I think that is really mm. worthy of a... Um, all the ones, well, and I wonder if Cindy might be a little further back um, in the stream. Oh, and here's, here are naughty, naughty elves. But they're little, and I've lost all but one of the boots. Got one. I don't know what happened to them. You know who? They might be on the table over there with little Miss Izzy. She thought they were kind of cool. What what did you just say? I think Izzy might have stolen my boots. Oh, she yeah. My stockings. Boots, they're not boots. They're stockings. Now, isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. That's fern. <laughs> Aren't they just cute? I just love that. I think that I think that, that qualifies as a good print. Yeah. I like it. Oh, that's true too, Eva. What is it? She says often colored mats fade. Neutral ones go with any print and decor. That is very true. And and, and usually when they fade, like it's not like in a good way. Like no. it's pretty noticeable. That is true. That's true. I have I have she made both. me she made me put up curtains. Because she didn't want, you know, there to be a change. Just, you know, I get it. Direct sunlight on the on the on the um, watercolor. Her, yeah. Okay, now remember, <clears throat> this is the one, and I'm going to talk about this. This is the one where this other stuff stayed on on there. Mm -hmm. So I came back in, did some over the top, and this is, uh, you know, I think it's really. I think it looks cool. <laughs> Lisa Mingus says, Elf on the Shelf in reverse. Izzy. <laughs> I don't think that the elves would be happy <coughs> with stealing their shoes. <laughs> She's such a little poopy diaper head. Okay, now this is one. Ooh. Oh, this is this is a brayer off. I'm gonna show I don't you. like what she did there. Well, is that stencil butter? Pardon? Is that stencil butter? Um, yeah, yeah. It is. <laughs> that answered that. You can tell by those that are left behind. <laughs> those that were left behind. And you always hope that, that they're left behind. And see, that's nice. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, and I'm gonna Ooh. have to come in and do a little gluing down. But this is also a piece. It was a brayer off. And then I was using it to slap stuff down and clean it off. We, di we didn't have ginger. We need a ginger lemon tea. That's what I Sandra's like ginger a lot. Well, mm. we need the root. We need to have Honey Bunny pick up some ginger root. Because there's nothing like that stuff that comes, that powdered stuff. Mm -hmm. That's a caca poo poo. <coughs> okay. Ah. Hopefully. Fingers oh, crossed. Wow. When did these happen? Well, Where actually, I, I. Hey, the the bottom part was was put down. Uh huh. <coughs> Pardon me. I just decided to make executive decisions and. Yeah, you did. Come in and. Uh, Put, put a pull co color down. This is the one where you can see the kind of misty stuff out there. Well, that was from one of the Paisley leftovers. Ooh, that's a 
Weird. Isn't it? It's oh, kind of... wow, that's trippy. I mean, you can't really see definite things on it. It just looks... Ooh, hold it up further in the camera. See, we can do that now. You see the other? Yes. Give us a little wiggle. Hey, this is a really good time. Hey, we're really close to... <laughs> hey, hold on, hold so on. So we still... We, we've got some impressions on the plate. We are close to 100 people, remember? If we hit 100, well, we dropped a few, but that's all right. But we are close. Now, look at the... Oh, She's if so this comes listening. off, I'm just... I'm, the, I, can I hammer I'm hammer? keeping this. This okay. is a keeper. I don't... You can't have this. Okay. Can I hammer hammer for a second? Yeah. Okay. We're very close to 100 people. That is very exciting. If we stay on the on this... We'll go ahead and give out, you know, we'll do the the drawing for a free stencil. Remember, you have to place an order of $30 more. Then you can use your free stencil thing. Those of you that are here and are lurking, if you like it, hang out. Give the thumbsy upsy. Say hello in the chat. We'd love to say hello back. And I do apologize for our voices and the lack of hearing and things. We are a little under the weather. <clears throat> Otherwise, we're doing well. <laughs> Okay, this, because I think I did this. No, I I don't know if I added the, it's not a lute, it's a mandolin. Mandolin. Mandolin, but remember those, these were leftovers from the stencil butter. Mm -hmm. Then what I did is I used a purple, you can see right on the edge there, purple to pull this with. Mm -hmm. Everybody's with me on... on yeah. on what happened when. Hey, and don't let me forget, I want to talk about these little jobbers because I, I, I re-upped them all. And I, I kind of tweaked my formula. Yeah, did you Because I had some, I've got some new stuff that I had. Did you make notes? Um, no. Kind of. Well, I wrote it on the, on the jar. Oh, well, then you made notes. Yeah. Oh, I just hope all of the parts pull up like I want Hello, them Melissa. to. Hello, Melissa. I really worked hard to get the. Oh. I remember most of these. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Played on the mandolin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> played on the mandolin. <laughs> okay, now look at that. The trick, ladies and gentlemen, to getting these stencil butter pieces off of the thing. You've got to work that pull layer down into that area around it. Cause see, can you see it? Can you see the? I hold it up. We have. The, oh, sorry. You, I know. Look at that. And it has that nice little purple but squish gonna, out. That tells you how much paint. She's gonna keep this one. I'm keeping this one. <laughs> I'm keeping it either that or I'm, you know, it's going to be a $300 print. Well, it's, it took about five streams to get it. Yeah. Many hours. Because it started back when in the stencil butters, it had two other poles. Yeah. and Plus you could, it has the music. Because see, look, you can kind of see a little bit and that's just from the indentation. Mm -hmm. The the kind of ghosty part there. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know what that turquoise <laughs> stuff that's on there. I don't know how that got there. Devin, in quotations, we have technology. <laughs> it's for everyone's enjoyment. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, that I I'm I am feeling so perked up. You are. You got perky. I I'm perky. And you know I don't have to say bad words. And okay, now see this little ripply business going on here. That means that there was a lot of paint. You can flatten those out by putting them under pressure for a couple Because we've days. done it. Yes. It does work. It works. All right. This is another one that was a partial pull off. <laughs> Maxine said, oh, yeah, that was the stream that made my lo my wallet lighter. <laughs> so I got some stencil butters and things. Oh, well. You will enjoy them, and they will last a long time. Unless you they get crazy. do. Well, unless you go on a full on, you know. Yeah, I, I went through a lot of it there for a little while, and 
Well, I'm still losing a little bit that I put on there, but that's all right. She's on a print pulling high. <laughs> I am. And I try, I wanted to get some more of that. And I may just pull this out and do another. But I want to talk about this right now because this is a good example. Can you hold that one up into the technology? Now she's just being a poopy diaper. Just looking at this. Yeah, you need to move it over towards the little, you know. Okay, and then, then the more of the... You see the three little things on the thing? Yeah, there? I see them. Yeah, those are the cameras. So probably center of those would be center. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. But how about that? That's pretty amazing. We've never been able to show this amount of detail. Mm -hmm. But I really think I need some more on this. Mm -hmm. So that, but okay, here we go. I got to talk about this stuff. So I have now, here's the label that I took off of this one, where all, all of these have Luc Lucas Krill, every mm -hmm. last one of them, okay? I haven't tried to clean the lids up a little bit, but I guess <laughs> now that the light's a lot better, I didn't do such a bang-up job on that. Oh, well, we don't care about that. All right, so on this one, Extra Heavy Gel Medium from Amsterdam. Have you started writing notes sideways on there? Because it didn't fit, and what? somebody asked about it, and I thought, well, I need to put that on there. On the other ones, on the newer ones, look, I wrote it. Oh, okay, all nice. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The, this was kind of a, you know, triple thick brilliant brush on glaze by Deco Art. Hey, now, this. let me tell you about this stuff. This is some awesome stuff. If you want to get some gloss. But it is not thick. It's Do not, not like it, the, that that word. Thick. I don't know what triple thick means, but I can pour it out of here. <laughs> I'd hate to see, you know, single thick. We we we, we laughed about this because we're like, well, I guess compared to certain mm -hmm. other things, yes, maybe like it water, is. It, it it is triple the thickness of water. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 that it is. That it is. Yeah. All right. So then I've, I used the Lucas Krill, the Amsterdam Extra Heavy Gel Medium Matte. Oh, garlic and tea. No. And retarder. That didn't change. That is like that. Okay, this is the original formula. All right. So then I went with this one. Lucas Krill Pasta Spage, the Deco Art Triple Thick, that one too. But then I brought in a new comer. And I had this in the drawer, and I just completely forgot I had it. We got this on sale, right, Mariah? I mean, quite a while yes. ago. And we wanted to try it because they don't call it a retarder. They call it gel additive slow dry. Yeah. Okay, well, it means the same thing, Yeah. folks. It's professional whatever that means and oh anyway here, Diane says triple thick is a thick clear glaze it's thicker than clear sealer oh well I don't even know if you're supposed to mix it in with stuff it doesn't say so on there but I have maybe it's for sealing and it works so far so yeah anyway all right so here we go and, and this was one where um I didn't I did add some impasto, but mostly I just used the Liquitex, and this stuff is matte. All right, so I've got gloss. Everybody keep up with this. Yeah, y'all keeping up with this. Got gloss here and matte here. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can tell this is matte. Isn't that nice? It's a nice chalky, soft. You know I love it when you mix the... The, the uh, what is the word I'm looking for? It's the, the sheens, the different sheens, the... Yes. You guys know what I'm trying to say. It's like mixing metals. I don't mind mixing metals at all. Here, I look, I've got gold, that, like in my 20s. silver, and copper. But then I got over it. And, this is, okay, so this is really great because this ring here, I don't know. I, I, I got it on eBay. For really like we're, we're mixed super cheap. Artists, Diane. 
So I think what they were doing is they were cladding it and they got bored or ran out of money. So it's not completely clad in gold, just part of it. Well, I mean, it's Isn't only that the top interesting? part of your finger. Why, why clad the whole thing? Yeah, I don't know. That anyway. seems more economical. I like it just because it's weird and I've never seen anything like that. So, anyway. Yeah, I know. And, and the price was really good. Oh, Joan Marone would like um, notes for those. Should I take... We can take picture of the, of the label, right? This stuff? Which one's Joan? Or does she want my mixes? Yeah, we need more info. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we can do either one. To remember to take a picture of my scarf. Okay, I don't even know what I'm pulling here. But, oh! This one is so... Your hand sums it up. Just, I'm glad I'm not the only one that I don't know this is what, what this is for. But I'm going to do it. <laughs> what is this stuff? Let me oh, see. Oh, she was hmm. repeating you. That's hilarious. Okay, but what? that basically sums up the last, you know, <laughs> five minutes of that conversation. <clears throat> oh, goodness. Mixtures. The mixtures. Oh, the mixtures. I could get you a photo of that. Or if you held it up into the technology for a second, people could actually like, you know. Oh, you mean screenshot my it or pause mixtures? it? Mixtures because it's such. Oh my God, that's beautiful. I feel Isn't like, it? I I knew it was going to be. I feel like you should send that to Darcy. If you're willing. Oh, I am. Darcy, are you willing to accept this? And are you willing to? I I will send framing and matting suggestions. Do you have like a? What are you doing, lady? You got things stuck to you. Is it wet? No, it's just one of those hanger on spider honor. hanger on her things on the edge. You know, see, here's one over here. I don't know. You can pick them off if you want to, but I do. This is the one where remember how many prints we did, mm -hmm. and finally it ended up like this. She will accept it. She will accept it. Wonderful. I will make notes. I have some definite ideas about this. I think it's really a stunner. <laughs> and says if Darcy doesn't want it, she would take it. <laughs> okay, there you go. Now, Darcy, I'm going to come over and get it if you don't frame it and oh, she mat it. She wants me to mat it. She wants you to mat it? Well, if I mat it, then you got to wait because I have to wait until I have an order of a few of them. Because otherwise, singularly, this size mat is about $22. And that's of the cheaper ones. FYI. But I will. But I want a price break on them. Because we have other ones that, yes. obviously, that, you know, of this size that we need. But you have to wait. Yeah. But I haven't really decided yet how to... I think it's got to go like this. I think it kind of goes better that way. But if not, then you need to have the guitar, I think, head up. with and the, Yeah. Because the heaviest one's here. Oh, this is so cool. It actually has texture. You can feel hey, it. Psst. Hey, hold it up in the camera. What? Hold it up in the camera. Can you see it? A little bit towards... That's awesome. But aren't those gorgeous colors? And again, this was pulled. I can't tell you which one of these. I should have made a note. One, one of these little jobbers. Um, the mat we would need would be 16 by 20, Diane. Because remember, these are the 11 by 14 sheets. And we want a good couple inches on the mat. So even if I was willing to give it a go on the... Now, I should have pulled this first because this isn't very. This is a wall print. And I'm trying to get up a layer that's down there. Oh, I think it's going to pull. 
actually multiple layers. This is one that I was using to um, make backgrounds. <clears throat> so Deb says on the brighter side, they'll charge you even more at your local framing store for that mat. I think so too. Yeah. Oh yeah, it'd, it'd be at least forty bucks. Yeah. And that was back in the day. So I, I'm telling you that mat mat board and more. I feel that even you know for a singular thing is very cost efficient. That paper is the Jack Richardson. That's the thicker stuff. But look at all those layers that are on there. I mean... Oh, and there's a little shimmer to that or something. Yeah, oh, yeah. A look, you can see, see uh -huh. the built-up paint. And again, this is pulled. Okay, let me tell you what this is pulled with. I, I think had part of the deal is, is you're used to the, the camera being more over this it's here. way. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's over here. Yeah. Why is that? Well, because the camera's in a different position. I mean, I could move that one back over this way. Well, I think it would be a really brilliant idea. I mean, aside from the fact that most people don't really give a rip about my... Well, that's not true. Brayer offs. <laughs> back to this. So, I, I opened the, up one of these and I can't tell you which Tony, one it was. Tony, I reached out to them. What? She says they should sponsor your streaming. They could give you discounts. I, I actually asked them um, when we made one of our last orders if they did anything like that. And that, hey, by the way, I'm probably going to be sending people your way. And even if they had like a um, discount code of their own or of theirs that they could track the orders with to see who came. And plus pass that along to you guys. But nothing of that sort. They said that they, they might come up with something, but. Yeah. Uh, it was one of those kind of. Uh, yeah, I think they were like. You know, bless your heart. Yeah. <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah, right. Sounds great. <laughs> yeah. Talk to you later. Okay, so here's what I did. I had some paint in the bottom of one of these, and it was kind of rubbery. But you know me, I was very determined not to lose it, so. I thought, I think it's still got enough elasticity and and it's moist enough that I can make it, I can bring it back. So I took and I put this with some of the golden, let me get that booger out here. Oh, that's not it. It's in a similar tube, but here it is. And I don't, did we get this free from something or? How did we get this? Yeah, Mo took the class. They would only ship it to the states, oh, so she had it sent right. to us, All which right. was so All right. super Mo, sweet. Mo, we thank you again. Hey, and by the way, um, uh, I can't remember who it was, and again, I apologize. Posted that the golden one of the golden rep people are going to be doing that class again, and they'll be giving away the sample boxes or whatever you can sign up for them. So. Um, that was posted in Makers. I want to say it was either Sandy or Stella or Susan, perhaps. Well, sorry. I really I love this stuff. And you know, if I didn't have fourteen different kinds of this these this same stuff, I would order this. But I really I liked it, and this is what I used to bring this back. And then I thought, remember this Lucas Creel, and it, it comes out kind of mealy, this one. So I scraped all the stuff out of there, and then I used this and this to resolubilize, but you can see a little bit how it kind of <clears throat> came through there. Oh. And it, yeah. And the so, color on this camera is so much better. Oh. Oh, I know. I, I couldn't believe it when I was looking at it over there. I was like, oh my gosh, this doesn't even look the same. Oh, Francis, that's meant for a treasure map. I know. It's really nice. I don't, hey, I don't Holly, know. Or any of you guys, if you do place an order, if they have special instructions or anything like that, tell them that you saw saw from over here. I mean, who knows? Maybe they'll give us a hookup. And they might yeah. pass on some kind of discount things to you guys, too. 
So. Yeah. I all mean, right. even if that's all they did, I would be very happy with that. No kidding. All right. So these little pieces of... Oh, we love a hookup, too. Acetate work really... <laughs> I actually like them better, especially if I'm mixing kind of semi gooey drop. Pardon me, paint. <laughs> what the semi gooey dried up paint? That you're digging out of something, you know, like some of those that I have that are oh, like the weird pink. Yeah, that's you know comes out and it's, it kind of spooches out there, and then that is such a terrible word to use, but okay. All over your thing, and you're going, oh man, it's separating. So then you can come back in and you can really, if you need to get down on it, you don't want to be doing that with your gel uh, plate. Susan, it's my iPhone. Yeah, this is the iPhone. So there was an, with the latest, now I think you've been able, oh, okay, here's the thing. You have to have, this is what I do know about it. I think it has to be an iPhone 12 or newer. You know, they're up to 14 now, I think. What's yours? And it has to be, I think, the latest operating system or maybe one back. But it only just started prompting me, hey, do you want to use your phone as a webcam? And I'm like, why, yes. That would be flipping fantastic. I would love that. Thank you for asking me, iMac. <laughs> and so I did that. And then it worked. And I'm like, well, where have you been all my life? But it wasn't until this latest operating system. Yes. Yeah. Before that, they weren't so hot. Yes. It is. Supposedly, it doesn't have to be. Like, you have to connect it with a cable to get it started. But then I think it will go off of Bluetooth. <coughs> I, for safety reasons and for battery reasons, yeah. have it still connected with the cable. So maybe my new, yes, I would think that your new iPad would do it as well because that was one of the things. Um, it's like community connectivity, something like that is like the app that runs. I'm sorry. I know you hate it when we talk the techie talk. I seriously need to start my own, you know, like YouTuber YouTube I'm, channel. I'm trying to be polite. <laughs> you notice I kind of nodded off there for yeah, a moment. Yeah, I'm giving me that look like, okay. Wrap it up. Okay, there. well, we're going to Becky talk. <laughs> we're going to try something it's here. It's like a commercial. <laughs> and, you know, here's the whole thing. Okay, so I, I'm not sure what happened here, but um, I think it was a brayer off. Maybe. I don't know <laughs> what it was. But obviously, it didn't work out terribly well. It's one of those, um, what did we call them? They were good intentions. Dry prints. <laughs> it's really dry. So I've got these little guys here, and if we can figure out, and I just love these so much. I love them so much. I have to figure out which one I want. Okay, so these are the volume one. Okay, these are by Christy Hartman. We love her. Oh my God, she just makes the cutest things, and these would go so well with the gnomes. I'm very much in love with these volume ones. I called them joyful fun or something like play. Playful and joyful, or playful and joy, something like that. Sorry, that was this morning before the cough syrup. I had a little a lie down this she morning did. after I got up and see around this house. Okay, we get up at at six thirty or or before because we it, it takes four of us to get, to get a child out the door. I don't, I don't know people with both of the kids like I just I. And I told Mariah, I said, you know, I do not know how I did that because I was going to school. I was working part time. And plus, you know, art studio classes, you have to go in and do those on your own. They're not, they're not considered into the, yeah. yeah. So you would spend for every hour, a good three hours doing studio stuff. So I would just a lot of times take Mariah with me and um, playful joy, playful joy. That's a good one. Thanks. All right. Well, I'm going to do something here that um, I don't know if this is the thing to do, but I want to do it because I want to see if I can line it up and make it work. Okay. So I want to use this with this, but I want it to separate from the background. And I'm thinking this is going to be a card. So I want to kind of keep that in mind that, you know, 
And this is kind of a funny little set because the smalls and the larges are slightly different. Like you don't get this one in the large set. Because I didn't think, well, I just thought it would be kind of fun to have a little bit different ones in each one. Because sometimes certain designs are a little better in a smaller version or they work better as the bigger. Yeah, okay, I'm going to just <clears throat> do this. This is why I love these little things that Mariah, and she, she gives me enough room to put down my paint on the side here. I did on the little ones. On the little ones. She may not be praising me on the big ones. Well, I don't. I probably won't use those very much. The big ones. I might. Never know. Then I'm going to take my. If you want to extend your size, remember you can always use the washi tape to create more edge. Yes, because remember I do that. This can be ever so slightly kind of, wonky, you know, not so solid, simply because I think it's going to go with the rest of it. And remember, because this has already been painted on, I've got an area that I can clean up out there. Okay, I'm liking that. Keep that over there. I'm going to pull that up, and then very quickly, heavy. what? It's just, it's Mariah, I know that's your jam. If, it's, if, if you say it doesn't work, I believe you. She doesn't ever believe me, and then she gets grumpy with me. And says, what? Well, I would like it in a different size. And then I feel bad, and so I stay up all night long, and I figure out the lines. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> and say, can you please watch and feed my baby? So I can figure out your lines. And I do. She does. <laughs> She's got so, mad. So when Izzy is, is like, what? where was my mommy? I'm going to say, well, talk to Gigi about that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> now, I'm not worried about it getting out in the margins there because I'm probably going to cut that off anyway. Mm -hmm. Now, I do have a little overflow here where it hit one of the ripples. I don't know how much we will be able to clean that up, but look at that. On Thursday, we will be showing some more that will, I, I can be more specific about that, that, that exact store. Although I was able to do it in an afternoon. All right, I like that. It looks like a little star lighthouse, right? Yeah? Okay. I will let that dry and then we're going to come back in and I'm going to put this onto a plate and we're going to print it. I thought that was like over a this. holiday lighthouse. Yes. You know, if you have friends that live on the coast. Mm -hmm. All right, then that, that's what we're going to do with that one. We'll just put that aside and make sure that it dries More stencils. properly. More stencils on Thursday. Okay, let's get back here and see what else we've got. I pulled a, mm, Lisa oh. Ming Lisa Mingus says the paper under the brayer would make pretty trees. This? Uh-huh. Yeah. He's looking pretty good there. What were you all like? Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, let's just put that up right now. I don't know. What are you thinking about this? It's very tree-like. Yeah. And I will send the outer bits so you get both the little mask and stencil-ish. You know, like All right. Now we're here. going to try a different technique on this one. Hopefully I can get to that before it's Hey, would you like... Goners. Hey. What? Um, you need your one... Do you have your sponges that Jacqueline sent you? I do. I put them in the bag. And then I also have, she She told me, she's like, I'm not going to use that. I ordered these, but I think they'll be good for sprays, too. Want to give it a whirl? I don't want to use those. They're too big and fat. They're lumpy. I think you should give it a try. You just use those on your sprays. I do. Roger that. I'm going to use these sponges that 
you know, it has this nice little beveled edge there. I'm, I'm liking that. Those are great for inking. That's what Devin says. That's what I'm going to use them for one day when I get to come back up here and actually do art. <laughs> I need some elves. Okay, so we're going to just take my leftover paint that I used on my other my other technique. <laughs> it's like a little mini And we're just going to come in and do a bit of dabbing. And, I, you know, I don't really think it's probably going to do all that much. Just simply because it's kind of... Ooh, that looks really pretty. Pardon? That That's really pretty. It's funny because, see, did you guys notice that on the blue one... It made it look more purpley. And over here, it's really bumping up the goldy shimmer. Hi, Rita. No worries. And hello, Heather. I think, yes, these are like great stencils that could be used for um, I mean, not only cards, but all kinds of little gift things. I think a lot of you guys that are doing the um, December daily uh, or, or have the Christmas journals, I think this would be so awesome because they're small and then you can put them yeah. in your journals. No kidding. I wanna I'm going to use one this one over here since I'm, I want to use up the rest of my stars. If anybody or wants to make me a, a, a December ish kind of journal that I can you know kind of like my little snowflake one I guess I could use these for my snowflake journal I think I'll do that bye Trish thanks for hanging say hi to Evie yes is Evie leaving too or, yeah she was here hey Niecy sorry I didn't see or did I say hello mm. For sure. Bookmarks, yes. Hey, and this isn't even it. You want to show the other ones too? What? Are you going to show the other ones? You should probably show them all just in case you get, because she gets stuck on them. Oh, yeah, I do. And I'm sorry about that. That's kind of how I approach stencils. Well, and I think that's totally fine, but we should at least show the, the full display and then see what you get into. So that's the outer bit of the trees. Yeah, those see, the I'm putting them right there. next Remember, to Remember, those each are other. the trees from her gnomes. So if you have the gnomes, these would be very good. All right, I'll just put keep these together. Oh, Evie's staying. She's resting. She's resting the bad knee. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're still here. I'll tell you what. Okay, here's the. Here's the. These darn things stick to the back of the other. I <laughs> yesterday. I was like, where'd they go? Oh yeah, there Here, they are. here's the the big guys. Yes. So instead of the little lighthousey one, this one you get the snowballs, which kind of correspond with the one end one. See? I thought they were snowballs. That's what I was going with. Oh, but you also get the big stack of yeah. baubles. And, the and I, I'm, I really, really like this one because I think it would be so easy just to take parts of it mm -hmm. to use on, you know, your your greeting cards, on your your journal, on your um, what you call postcards. Welcome back, Heather. We have two Heathers. Okay, then here's the other beautiful bunch of... And I call these... Uh, winter, what did I say? Let's see, hold on. Man, my brain. Like, I'm going to try to wash this, this off morning. with my, so I can continue using it. And it just washed it. I think it's, Is it? yeah. So, okay. winter woods and flora. All right, I, I'm sorry. When I picked it up, it's stuck to, to the other, it's other part. <laughs> Okay, well, you you know what that is. Yeah, okay. I, I don't know that that's a terribly exciting outer bit, but I will send it. Uh, well, we'll make a nice Franken Franken stencil. Yeah. And these little pieces might make nice Franken stencils too. But I do, 
I do love the leaves so very, very much. I love the tree. It's a lone pine. I've got plans for that. But I don't know that I... Do I have the little version underneath this one? Uh-huh. Now, they are exactly the same. I didn't... There, there wasn't an oh, alter... No, but alter just wonderful, wonderful. Probably will be using both of those, so I will be keeping that the big ones in that simply because I I can see them coming across. well and this is one that I think um, you know really isn't necessarily holiday specific it's more like winter specific. yes or woodsy yes <laughs> now this is not lending itself to that it's going over so I'm going to change its orientation because what I want to do here is I want to use the edge as part of the mask off area. Yeah. Okay. Now, we used this on that last one. It was a bit transparent, I felt. And the thing is, the stickier, heavy-bodied are going to stay in place better than... The loosey goosey stuff and I need to look at this and make sure okay this is the right side because that little mm -hmm. little bit that cups down there it makes a difference it, it really does all right oh my goodness this is just a mess <laughs> I'll, I'll soak that and get that off and that'll make some very nice skin oh, yes so we can put that on Archie on the bottom part. Gosh, I just keep grabbing ones that are already mucked up. Ah! There we go. That's why you save the tops to your whole milk yogurt and other things. Cottage cheese, for instance. All right, so we want, <laughs> we want um, to thicken it up ever so slightly. Now, here's the other thing I wanted to tell you. The reason I think this is a good pull paint to use, remember, it's got the slow dry retarder in it. So it has time to really Ooze get in, in there, there and grab on to whatever it is. Now, this is just my theory. I do not know this to be true. In my world, that's how it works. Yes, and the leaves, so the little, you have both the stencil one and then the mask of the leaves go with the aspen trees yes you got them right there Just yeah like, okay yeah. I, and i need to move those aside because yeah. i don't need to be stenciling and on. then if you have the poinsettias like the bigger ones this would be a great set too because it has the poinsettias in there or if you just want you know this is why we love the strippers because you get a little bit of everything and i just you know i just think that these are and I'm going to try to make this, I'm going to try to use this so that I can utilize the other part of the paper here for, you know, another, because I think it's going to, and I don't really know, you know, when you do that, you just, you're just like, okay, where do I want, because whatever I mask out, so I really want more of the green to yeah, show the up, green. because I'm going to use this fairly opaque, Ooh. I might have to have you come over here and fetch out my new supply. Oh, nope. And there's we got more some. in there. And you don't need a whole lot of it. I love this color because it's kind of greenish. <laughs> Devin is a big fan of the strippers. I am too. I mean, ever since yeah. we started doing those, I'm just like, oh my gosh, lost my sponge. I don't know how we came, like, how that all exactly came I about. requested it. I requested a long strip because remember when I was doing those one where I would block out the whole side, I said, if I can do that. Yes, and then Brad was like, well, why don't we do that with more of our stuff? And I'm like, well, yeah, why don't we? Yes, uh, that's it's right. Kind of, it was kind of a trick question. Yeah. Okay. Now, again, oof, I don't want to knock that off there. <laughs> I can just do 
this inside portion. Well, Paula, um, <laughs> pick and mix would be a tricky, tricky business there. Cause what is it? She, she wants a pick and mix because we'd have to set up the different combinations. And that isn't exactly, as Brad says, scalable. <laughs> Maybe one of these days. <laughs> Night, Carrie. Thanks for hanging. No worries. Okay, now you can see, I think I'm going to need to do the outside just because I think it's going to define it because it's really subtle. I'll give it a little frame. Give it a little frame, and I can kind of, hopefully, with my big fat finger, It's dry. Down, down, down. It is. I was going to say, it looks like it's fairly, dry. Fairly quickly here. And I can come back and add some more. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Paula. What is it? She says, no, no, no. I was joking. It's just a nice variety. If you buy a lot, self-serve, pick and mix. There you go. Yeah, buy them and mix them up. to make sure I get a bunch on here and I'm having trouble with that corner there. Well, if you would have put it on with the credit card, if you were going for thick. There's always know. somebody in the crowd that's, you know. Got ideas. Got ideas. <laughs> well, I'll just make sure that it's up against the edge there. And mm -hmm. That's just going to have to do. I think that looks lovely. What you could do is like, so if you were to make like a bookmark or even just a little tuck thing or this, that, the other, once you cut that out, you could come back and and do the um, distressing or, you know, the... Somebody help me out. What am I trying to say? You know, the stamp stuff and you rub it on the edges. My brain today. Okay, a part of the problem is, is we don't have enough contrast here. So, this is very subtle and lovely. We're going to leave it as is. And we're going to go with a, another piece of... Bye, Nisi. ...our paper here. Oh, um, that color is one of the color shift ones. What, which one is that? In the, the thing is, is you have to buy the full set. And it's yeah. the U.S. Art Supply. I don't know that you can get it in the Netherlands. It is gold to silver iridescence. Yeah. It um, almost comes off kind of a bluish color. Can you see that? Yeah. It's kind of a, I mean, obviously they are color shifty, iridescent, whatever. Yeah. All right. You, you saw what that one would do. Let's, let's try, let's try something else. Let's try the leaves. Oh, Colleen wanted a close up of the tree. Oh, of the one I just did? Uh-huh. I think. Now, once I get this cut out and matted with another piece underneath it, you're going to start seeing some loveliness here. Now, the one thing I would, or maybe perhaps could happen, if we would have some it's slight little tree edges. things out here in the middle, cutouts, at the middle of the, the tree. I think that if you want to Franken stencil your little things. Okay, well, just a thought. <laughs> it is. Just a thought. All right, so what do we want? Let's do our poinsettias. I'm just going to kind of 
All right, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to just try to keep to the interior here. Okay. And I'm trying to think um, what it's, uh, let me see, hold on, where's my stuff? I don't even think um, Golden has one. I'm trying to think what other paint we have that's even close to that. Well, they Golden makes something. It's it's called um, their bronze is almost there, and if you would add a little tiny bit of blue to it, it really would. Mm -hmm. I think work work super nicely. Yeah, the green gold, no, um, because this is a darker. Yeah, the green gold isn't metallic, even though it says it is. It is. Look she at that. See it. That's beautiful. I see it almost comes off gold there. Yeah. It, it, well, it's, it's like it's, all colors. It's totally dependent mm -hmm. on, you know, what you're... Well, and these are color shifting. Like, they're supposed yeah. to alter the... Okay, now we can make that... Slightly more blue. Let's add a little blue. Hello, SWO. I mean, these are all kind of, you know, wintry. Although, I think, you know, this this could be even Asian-themed. Yeah. It almost looks lotus-like, too. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of mixy-matchy here. What did you mix in with that? The blue. From the U.S. Art Supply. Mm -hmm. And it's really sort of nice because it does have that blue tinge to it anyway, so it lends itself quite nicely. Oh, some white spatters are even a little silver. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to take this over here. I watched... Um, the watercolorist, Diane. Yeah, um, she's on the on the roll on the roller card here on a sticky note. Diane Antone, and yes. she did those celestial um, bookmark things. That was quite amazing. I've been enjoying her videos because I don't do watercolor, and I, I you know I was traumatized by my watercolor teacher. Hey, I'll tell you what you know. <laughs> she she knows some stuff, and the thing about it is that she's not so pris yeah, prissy yeah, she's about not, it. Like she's not precious. Some of those watercolorists are like... Yeah, what you used to be. Nazis. Yeah. The watercolor Nazi, you know. Yeah. Fascisti. I don't know that this is going to come off as being that much different, but hopefully somewhat, after I went to all that trouble. Okay, cooled it. See cooled it down oh i love that oh you do if you do a little three panel thing there that's nice but isn't that background just perfect that was a failed print you know i went too dark hello sylvia and actually this is what this is wonky or ripley railroad can you see down here on this end it's a yeah it's a um laser print yeah did you say that? Hmm. And I can't remember exactly what happened. Now, I will show you when I get finished with that what, how absolutely flippin' stunning that's going to be. <laughs> if I do say so myself. If I do say so myself. Okay, let's look through our pile here. I mean, who's going to say it if I don't say it myself? See what else we've got going here. We might have to... We've got some really weird stuff here like this. Yeah, that's some rando stuff. <laughs> Testing out my marker down there. Mm -hmm. Hey, I think that that... Do we need to bring in the big ones? No, well, that's that's the bloopy loop, like, Yeah, IMPP. it is. Bunny ears. It's called bloopy loops. 
for those of you that don't, you know, know. She calls things the wrong thing. Because that isn't her department. This was what I have it listed up here on my <laughs> His floopy loops. Thing. Or his bunny ears. Bunny ears. <sighs> Anyways. I think that was from that print. What print? Like it's just a, you know, take off. But, you know, oh, yeah. The flip. Flip off. Yeah. Absolutely. Maybe. Well, I don't know. Cause that look, one here's like a little. And... Here's a little. Ooh. I like that. Yeah. She kind of would have lined it up, but that's all right. I'll take it. Well, we could have lined it up, you know. If I'd well, Lisa it Mingus thinks you should put copper in the middle of your of your uh, poinsettia ones that you just did over there. You need kind of a coppery one for your three. Well, I don't I know if I have enough room because, see, these are going to be separate strips. I think there's room. Okay. We'll, we'll do it. All right, but is that dry? I don't think you need to be doing it. Hey, the nice thing about this stuff. Dry is quick. It's metallic. But it is paint on paint. Yeah, it is. And it is. it's really not dry, but I think it'll make it work. Oh, goodness. Isn't that just the most gorgeous color? She calls Bloopy Loops rabbit ears. Some people call it puppy dog tongues. But the name of it is Bloopy Loops. It's a real pain in the badooty to cut. It, it's a porcelain yes. stencil. It doesn't, it sometimes requires a couple of cuts or tries. That's why there's some IMPPs. <laughs> okay, we're going to big guns here. Iridescent <laughs> copper fine. Oh! Well, I wish I'd lined those up a little bit. Because I, you know, I don't have much in between there to. You can cut them out and then. I know, but if I come in with my cop copper color here, I'm not going to have very much to take off on each one. I think there's more there than you, you realize. Well, I'm going to do it, and if it messes up, it's y'all's fault. Okay. And I just screwed up the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> he says, Gigi, don't look at me like that. She does. <laughs> She'll holler at your brother. She's really in this very tattletale phase right now, and we're all just like... I'm going to be so glad when this is... Yeah, it, it's annoying. Hey, we've got good news. She pooped at school and wiped herself. She said eight times. Now, you know, I don't know <laughs> if I'm going to... She eight times. I don't know if I'm going to go for that or not, because she really, she exaggerates. She does. She exaggerates minutes and, and times. Yeah. But we were just, you know, we, we wanted to write that down in a book or something. Oh, people are, they, they, they are, they are okay with this. What? <laughs> Sylvia says fault acceptance. <laughs> they accept it. Oh, okay. Oh, no worries. Bye, Darcy. Thank you. Man, I'll tell you what, Jacqueline, if you're still there, I, I, I'm awfully fond of these things. That probably means they're going to be high dollar. I have good taste. Taste is not necessarily commensurate with my pocketbook. What are we doing for dinner? Hmm? What are we doing for dinner? I don't know. I'm not charged. I, I made turkey soup. Yeah, you did. It's very good. Look at that. You almost centered it up. I almost did. And you know what I can do? It's a kind of irk me a little bit. I, I could just take and cut that off and cut that off. Or you could come in real quick like right now with some um... Wood. I'm not doing anything else. This I'd lose my I would lose my um, contrast. No, that's I, what I was thinking is if you came in real quick with pressure, you could buff out those edges and make them. I'm not willing to do that. Okay. But isn't that Okay, I'm gonna hold yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah. So look at that. I mean, so just make you a dark background. We should never forget that we, we, you know, once we're without this camera, so that way we don't ever take it for granted. I know. We should be thankful. 
I'm very she's, thankful. She's just get some more iPhones. <laughs> I don't know if that's necessarily the answer, but uh, as long as this one keeps working and it's current, you know. Ooh, just that popped up one little. All right, I've got these things here. And, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sylvia so says, so I have a craft budget currently on point for 2027. <laughs> I think we all live that way, Sylvia. This one over here, definitely. All right, now I'm looking at these, and this is a really good opportunity to talk about scale and what's going to happen. I love this thing, but I think it's kind of it's just, just, just a, a little lot. bit boring and not, you know. It's okay, and it's a marvelous. Well, and I think that the trees go very nicely on it. Well, I'm thinking... No, the fun trees. I'm thinking more along the lines of the leaves. Oh, I don't think that. No? <coughs> well, oh, how about... You're talking about these trees. Mm-hmm. See, that fits the style. Okay. Well, they don't fit on what I'm doing here, so I'll have to kind of... What about the little ones? What about the little ones? I don't know what happened to my little trees. Oh, goodness. They might be stuck to the back of one of those cards. They were here moments ago. Moments ago. Where's that other board that you... Oh. She lost the little trees. I lost the trees. How does this happen so quickly? Just have to use these. That's fine. Okay, now if we take and we do, and we, since we've got this paint out here, Lynn says put them on a diagonal. Well, they kind of are, but I can't because I want to use my. I want to use my. Uh, okay. Copper paint on this side. And my pink on the other side. Okay. Do you remember which pink that is? No, but I'll figure something out. Okay. I could, but I don't know that you're going to get what you think you're going to get. What? turning the trees into a stencil because then basically you're just going to get the stuff in the middle of it and I don't know that without the outline it comes across what it should be and I think many of my stencil designers are now starting to understand some of that more because it it's, it's not one of those things where you go, oh, well, just, you know, put the border around it. Well, once you put the border around it, is it what it was? Well, you lose the star at the top, for sure. And any of the thick stars there. Now, I could bring the outline of that back in. So, it, it gets tricky. It gets tricky, y'all. I love it when you're sort of listening to me. Yeah. Okay, plan B. Well, you know, it did break it up. Granted. This is where you really should have gel printed the thing and then put it on there. Well, I can still do that. <laughs> Just go over the top of it. I mean, you know. No big deal. We've and then I could do like, so you can do the outline one, but then so you have to break up the lines so much, then you lose your design too. Okay. I, I'm kind of done with that for now. We're going to go with... I think about this stuff a lot. Where are we heading now? You got 15 minutes. I got 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm excited that I didn't have a total, you know, cough fest that I, I might have spoke too soon. 
Oh, I've got this little beauty. Mm. That was from a while back. Yeah. Now that's another tricky little booger to cut. That's Jelly Shelly. I don't think she has another name for that one. Do you? Does she? No, I was asking you. That Jelly Shelly is her name. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know if you had a name. No, actually, I, I like that. I think that's what I have her up here. Just, but see, I have loops of bunny ears. And, hmm. I don't know. This is yeah, semi-transparent. We're just going to mix this all together here and see what happens. Yeah, Devin says use the strip on the gel plate, a dark green for that last one. Yeah, definitely. Good. I, I, I think that that's an idea. She's working through it. I'm working through it. Okay, now what did I want to do here? Okay, I want leaves. <laughs> that's why I'm the expert. She, I want you to know. Rhonda said that that is why I'm the expert. In stuff. Expert what? <laughs> Stencil designer. Oh. Yeah, I, I just I just hand her sketches and so make this happen. And make like, this. Could I don't you make that, this that, happen? That's gonna work the way you think it's gonna work. I feel like I say that a lot. <laughs> yeah, Jelly Shelly, she's a good one, but she is hard to cut. In fact, I think that, now I'm looking at that Jelly Shelly, I don't know that that is, that is either a prototype, because the lines on Jelly Shelly are way thinner than that. I really like this one. <laughs> it's Christmas Under the Sea. And actually, or this is really um, where the ocean meets the mountains. Meets the shore. This can be from the mango trees. Mm -hmm. what, or the, what, what is the, the tongue twister? Magnolia. Twi What's the tongue twister thing? Pardon? If, is it if Shelly could sell seashells on the seashore? Something like that. Oh, that's Marianne. What? Down by the seashore. Marianne. I used to score dance to that. No, we're not talking the same thing. That looks cool. Ghostly cool. Mm hmm I like it. Mm hmm Let me muck up the other side. Yes, yeah, Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Yes, it's one of those things that you try to say it really fast. A tongue twister. Oh, Christmas under the sea. Mm -hmm. I like that. A beachy Christmas. Didn't I do a set of paper? Oh, I do. I. <laughs> what? I'm going to put something because this is very... If somebody wants to um, make a journal with some printables, I'm willing to hook you up, but you got to reach out to me. Do it on Facebook, please. Message me if you want some printables that are Christmassy, but not necessarily traditional Christmassy. And they would go very well with a lot of our, um, a lot of our stencils. Whoo, brain. Whoo, brain. Words burp, are hard. Burp, burp. <laughs> Words are hard. Darcy had to go make dinner. Her peoples were getting restless. I really wanted to come in with just plain white, but I know if I put white with my metallics, you know what happens to your metallics. They go... Oh, do they now? They do. Do I not have the Christmas papers on our website? Well, that's a rookie move. <laughs> that it is. 
Goodness. I wonder if I have it in the A4. I sure do. Well, that's interesting. Why do I have it in just A4? Boy, oh boy, that's some, that's some murky move business right there. Anyway, if you guys would like to check it out, let me know. Holler at me. Here are my holiday papers. I could, I, I have them both in A4 and U.S. Yeah, we, as I recall, we worked it. really hard on those. Yeah, what, we did. What, did we, what, what was it that we were... Oh, I know, we were working with Jeanette. Yes, because she wanted these colors. And she was making a Christmas journal this thing. Might, this might be one of the reasons people don't purchase these. <laughs> because they're not on there. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of hard to buy something that's... Well, it's on there, but it's only listed under the A4s, and I don't really understand that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now, you know, I know it's really hard to visualize what this can become, but I'm here to tell you this can become yes. some extra special, wonderful -ness. And this is, you get the whole set, all five of them. They're like any of the stripper sets. You get either the five smalls, five bigs, or you can do the combo set. <clears throat> Sorry, I got to do a little maintenance here on the trees because it's got some little spots that you, you don't want them to start building up. Because what they do is they don't grab to the whole shape, they just grab to the little bit of that little thing here when you cut them what, what are you saying I'm saying you know these ones that have small things in them mm -hmm. all right let's change this ever so slightly hi SWL later tater <laughs> oh Fran says it was, and, and this isn't, you know, she sold seashells on the seashore. She being Mary Annie, the Mary woman who Annie. discovered the first dinosaur bones. Wow! I bet her uterus was awesome. <laughs> Some of you will know what I mean by that. <laughs> Some of you will be like, what? Did you hear what I said? No, wasn't reading your lips. I was squeezing paint out. I said, so the, the, the lady must have had a really awesome uterus to be finding dinosaur bones. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. Did you say what all you mixed in there? Well, you can see everything I have out here. Well, sort of. So I just mixed in a little bit more of, this is called... There we go. Blue Interference Pearl. Because you're getting a mighty fine, just... Mixture. Rainbowy silver business going on there. Oh, I know. And you got seven minutes to do whatever I it is I think I can do it. There. What I like about this little sponge mm -hmm. is I can almost use it like a brush. Well, maybe that's why the Pan Pastel people really like those because, you know, that's more like kind of what you do. You're not like dabbing it on. You're usually like, you know, sponging, brushing. <laughs> Hi, Joni. Thanks for hanging. This piece would actually go really well with that paper set. Like, those are the colors. Maybe this one was... 
I can think of that. Oh, and Carrie's, um, Good Golly Atali. Oh, yes. We didn't use any new paper today. How about that? I ju I really love this. <laughs> I love this Cindy, too. Cindy, you may want to wait until Thursday. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm all for, you know, multiple purchases and things, but you guys may See, want just to adding wait. that little bit of this stuff is awesome. You can add this to any metallic and it's going to give it that little bluish mm -hmm. tinge without a lot of opacity. Hold that up to the technology. It comes in two. This one is the... Um, no, it comes... It's all the big set. Oh, it's all in the set, yeah. But what I'm saying is the clear pearlized one, you have it with interference. There are actually four different ones. Because there's a red one, a goldy yellowy one, blue, and then like violet. Well, I don't. Oh yes, I hate it when she's right. This set is the most. You get more bang for your buck out of this than you do any of them. Yeah, because you mean, get the tubes all are of big. these. Well, plus all the colors. Yeah, plus all the colors, but these little jobbers. Yeah, kind of see that purpley red. Yeah. And it, it, it will really come out purpley red. Alrighty, well. Would I come back and do these with the cards? I know, I wish international shipping wasn't such a, wasn't so poopy too. I do want to. I want. I've got to get this one. So just oh, so these are don't the don't leave sets. yet. Don't leave. Okay, we're hanging out. You got three minutes, or we can go a little over. It's all right. So there, there's a volume one and a volume two, but they're under Christy Hartman. Or are you talking about the U.S. Art Supply? I'll put a link. I think that's what you're talking. Tell you, they should sponsor some things. We've talked about them a lot. We do. We use a lot of their products. Yeah. The impasto. I think they call theirs interference, don't they? Yes. Interference. But yeah. Oh, hey, and they got it back down. Okay, the other day. It was listing at $39.99. And Is it's it, back down to $24.99. Hey, you need to jump on that because I, I guarantee you it's, it will go back up. Yeah, I don't know what the deal was. I was like, holy cow. what That was a crazy jump. Now, like when we first bought them, I think it was $20.99. Oh, yeah. It was, it was something. <clears throat> and I can't even remember... It was just, it was it was on sale, and we decided, well, what the heck, you know, we can give them to Izzy. That's yeah. that's our rationale for everything. <laughs> we let Izzy put it. Izzy will like hard. it. She's a little hard on the art supply. Tell you that. She's a user. <laughs> <laughs> it's the paint out there. She isn't afraid to use some paint. <laughs> <laughs> She's really a b b believer in more, and because she likes to also more like, is it. better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. One little bone. Just made that worse. Some goo on my. There you guys go. There's a there's an affiliate link. Uh, we appreciate that. You know, there's no added cost to y'all, but it does. Okay, well, don't try. This is crap paper here. It's off a of roll. It's the black craft. Yeah. It's not heavy duty. It is not. You don't it's, want to be rubbing on. It's it. extremely flimsy. Yeah. 
very flimsy. But I think it did a nice job there, except for, but you know what? I probably, I can probably cut that off there anyway. You can see the difference in the metallics. No, uh, it was crazy because like it was like last week or whatever when I remember when I told you. Yes. And I was like, can you believe it's at thirty nine ninety nine? And then just now when I looked at it, it's back to the twenty four ninety nine, which is yeah. All right, we're at the end. We're at the end. Mm hmm. All righty. Well, I've just used about all of my paint. Well, fantastic. I've just about used all of the. Except I didn't use this one. This one's a lot of fun. Well, I'll just keep going here. Y'all can just... Oh, my goodness. What? For Maxine in Canada, $62. Yeah. Whoa. The import fees are crazy. Crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy. Well, Lori, I'm going to stay on to let her do this one because I think it's going to be good. I think. Now, the little set has the reverse of this. is actually more the stencil. Because that worked well. Yeah, for the little one. I might have to think about, you know, making a reverse out for the tree. I just I have to do a lot of work to the stars, get the star things back in them. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just mussing this about, and, uh... Oh, can you give us a little looky-loo, and then I'm gonna, you know... Bye, guys. See you Thursday. You can give us a little peek, or are you gonna finish the whole thing? I'm gonna do the whole thing. There's no sense in... Trying to, you know, get it off the thing. I guess that's true. And I'm trying to go out enough here because when I cut this out, mm -hmm. I won't have... Oh, you could, yeah, just fussy cut it. And then that isn't such a big deal anyway. Yeah. Julie says she's staying. She wants to see this. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to hurry. <laughs> Don't hurry, folks. Yeah. But, I, you know, I have to be careful here because I'm, I'm putting my finger down in a painted area. Yeah, Christy did a good job on these. She's been working on them for a while, too. She showed me these a, a while back and had some adjustments. And so she spent some time on them. None, none of this happens just mm. to sweet. No. It, 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 it's a, a, a long, drawn out, and I'm lifting off Well, sometimes we, you know, one just kind of happens really fast and, and and we can get it going and all that but a lot of times they do they, they really take a, a group effort <laughs> all right here's the reveal <laughs> Marta says the crock pot can wait <laughs> oh that looks lovely and see if she cuts that out oh very cool or a cool background kind of thing. Like if you want to, you already have a page done. Even that looks cool. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us once again. We very much appreciate it. If you're coming in here, this is the end. We appreciate you coming back, watching the replay. Be sure to leave a comment, enter, and let us know which part of the stream you really liked. Enter the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. We're getting very close. Very exciting. We're going to do like three giveaways. So... There's a lot of IMPPs to be given away. So, lots of stencils and other things. Oh, I forgot this one. We might bring some of this stuff back in on yes. Thursday. And we'll be using more gel plates rather than yeah. this. More gel plate work, that kind of thing, all on Thursday. Thank you so <clears> much. <throat> be sure to catch us over there in the Makers of Mixed Media Art Artist Facebook group. Many of these lovely folks that you saw here in the chat also members and that's where you see the lovely things that they make and all the fun things that we do swaps creative collabs all that and until next time bye guys bye